Hey guys, it's uh, Kawhi Pixie, but you can call me Kendra if you want, because that's my real name. Uh, today I am going to be doing uh, 20 questions for YouTubers, so I guess I will go ahead and get that started. Um, first question, are you hot? No, I, I don't think I am. I don't even think I'm pretty, but I have very low self-esteem. I think I'm ugly as fuck. Are you rich? Pfft, no. If I was rich, my baby's my baby would probably have her own house ready and waiting for her. And she's only three, getting ready to be four. My baby would already have a piece of land in her name waiting for her with a house waiting for her if I was rich. And my baby would be so spoiled, but she already is anyway, so. Are you in love? Yes, I am in love with someone, and I don't want to say their name, but I love them. I will always love them. Do you like coffee? I like coffee. I Now, I prefer cold coffee. I love cold coffee. I could drink it any time of the day, even, even at night time and stuff like that. But hot coffee, I do like hot coffee sometimes, but... Recently, I've only liked it when I have a hangover. <laughs> uh, which I'm trying to stop drinking. I, I, which, I'm not addicted to drinking. I don't have a, a drinking addiction or nothing. I just, I drink, like, very, 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 very low is my drinking rate. I don't drink unless I... It, I like, because I even have my rules. I don't drink if there's kids in the house. Even if they're not my kids, I don't drink unless uh, I don't drink if there's kids in the house and I have to had taken my medicine my seizure medicine so I have my rules I even don't like when other people drink with kids in the house like if if you're in my house and we want to drink and there's kids in the house even if they're your kids there's no drinking in my house so I have my rules uh do you like What's your dream vacation? Oh, I would uh, love to go to Ireland. I have always wanted to see Ireland. I think I've I've only seen pictures of it, and it's absolutely beautiful. And I would just I would love to see Ireland. <laughs> I'm just I I mean I've seen pictures of it, and I just love it. Like it, they have cottages that's really gorgeous, and um everything's just so pretty. From what I've seen on pictures, I've never seen it in person, but I would love to. Um, who do you truly love? <laughs> That's... Let's just skip that question. Last movie you watched. Uh, the last movie I... The last TV show I watched is One Day at a Time. I've actually was watching it before I, uh, started doing this video, but the last movie I watched was, um, Before I Wake. Actually, that movie made me cry. It's supposed to be a scary movie, yet it made me cry, but I'm a mother, and there's, you know, sadness about kids in there, so, you know, that's kind of sad. <laughs> um, what sport do you play? I hate sports. I don't play sports. I will never play sports. I am an artistic kind of person. I, I like to um, I like to paint, draw, sculpt. Uh, I'm I'm just artsy. I don't play sports. Uh, I do like volleyball and track, but that's about it. But I haven't played volleyball in years, and I do like track because it's fun and it's um, a good workout. What are you eating right now? <laughs> That's a weird question. Uh, I did. I'm not eating anything right now, but I have a. I just got done eating popcorn, and I've actually been wanting to be vegan. So I'm trying to find out um, the easiest ways to uh, start 
uh, be a starter vegan. Like I've, uh, I'm already a vegetarian. I've been a vegetarian for a year now, and I would absolutely love to be a vegan one day. And um, I'm really trying to find out ways to be a vegan. I am. Like I said, I am not rich. I am a mother on a budget. And where I come from, the food that's healthy is extremely expensive. I don't know what it is about America, but they think that if you may, they think if they make the unhealthy stuff exp- uh, cheap and then the healthy stuff expensive, they think people will still buy it and they'll make more money. No, you're just making people fat. So, <laughs> um, anyway, um, I'm actually trying to uh, transfer over to vegan. I have been... The biggest problem I have... Like, I tried veganism before. And that was a long time ago. And it's not that the food was nasty. I actually loved the food selections that people have gave me tips on. The biggest problem I've ever had is the fact that I had trouble figuring out how to replace eggs in baking and stuff like that and cooking. That's about it. That's the hardest thing I've ever had to deal with when it comes to veganism. But I'm actually learning a lot more, and I would actually like to try it and attempt it. And I hear that it's actually very healthy for people. So I'm probably going to take another swing at that again. I tried it when I was a teenager. I'm actually 26 now, so I'm going to try it now. I try. I plan on trying it again soon. Uh, who is your best friend? My best friend is, uh, his name's Benny, and he's been my best friend for years now, and he will always be my best friend. (laughs) What novels do you read? I, I haven't read books in a long time, but I do love to read, and my favorite book series is actually called The Dreamhouse Kings, and If you guys haven't read that, oh my god, you need to read it because it's absolutely amazing and it's like one of my, it's actually, it actually is my favorite um, book series. I don't, uh, I can't really choose anything else over that. (laughs) So, alright. What is your favorite pet? Um, I actually have two pets. No, three pets. I actually have three pets, and I have a cat, I have a dog, and I have a bearded dragon. The dog is actually a service dog. Uh, I have a seizure disorder, and that's what we got the dog for. But I do I do like him. He's sweet. But I am actually a cat person. Um, I actually prefer cats over anything because um, I do have a, an anxiety and depression disorder, and, um, ang- and I like to have cats because whenever I hold a cat the purring just calms me for some reason I just I don't know why but it does and uh, the name of my pets are Mr. Lizard is the dragon Uh, the uh, my cat's name is Gizmo and my dog's name is Dirk (laughs) I know that's a funny name but he's actually very pretty we had him gave to us um what size is, what is the size of your bed? That's a weird question, actually, but, um, it's a queen, it, and it's really comfortable, actually. I like, it. I love my bed. If I could, if I could, I would live in my bed forever. <laughs> As I was actually saying this to one of my friends the other day, I was like, wouldn't it be great if the longer you sleep, the more calories you burn? <laughs> oh my god, that would be amazing. Um, let's see... What are you listening to now? Uh, I'm not listening to anything right now, but the last song I listened to was uh, Molly by Little Dicky. I like that song, but it makes me cry for personal reasons. So, but I do, that is the last song I listened to. Um, what's your favorite subject? In school, you mean? Uh, well, in school, my favorite subject was uh, art and choir. I I really didn't like the, I mean, I tried in school, but it was just too hard. I just, personal reasons, I had trouble in school, and I just didn't like the, I didn't like the academic type, uh, the academic part of school. But I did love the hands-on parts of school. Like, I took um, 
choir, I took art, and I took, um, uh, what was it? I took choir, art, and there was another one. Cooking, yeah. I took choir, art, and cooking, and I loved every one of them. Um, I wish I could take more cooking classes because I'm not, because I'm, I'm getting better at cooking. It's just that I want to learn how to cook easier and more vegan dishes because like I explained before, I want to transfer to be vegan. So I would like to learn how to cook more vegan dishes. Uh, but my favorite subject of all was art. I just love it. It was it was relaxing. It was amazing. I, if I could, I would just take it over and over and over again. Worst injury you've ever had. Okay, so... I don't know. I, I mean, the worst injury I've ever had was actually when I was... Um, six years old, maybe seven, I was, uh, I, I was, used to have, like, this really big TV in my room, and mind you, when I was about six or seven, I was probably, like, I was really skinny when I was six or seven, and I wasn't that, I wasn't that tall. My TV was on an entertainment center, and I was born in the 90s, so, might I remind you, we was watching VHS tapes and stuff like that, so, I ha you had to actually push the tape back in to get to play, blah, blah, blah. Well, anyway, uh, I was uh, I was asleep, and everybody was asleep. And I uh, I always used to watch Disney movies before I would, uh, while I fall asleep. And I woke up in the middle of the night, and it was probably about, uh, it was probably about four in the morning when I woke up. And I wanted to go back to sleep, but I couldn't go back to sleep without noise. Because I, I have to have background noise when I sleep. And I went, I didn't want to wake my mom up because I was little and I was like a mommy's girl. And I was like, I didn't want to wake mommy up and bother her. So, um, what I did was I, um, <laughs> my crazy ass got, climbed on the, the you climbed on the entertainment sitter and tried to push the D, the, uh, VHS tape back into the VCR and accidentally pulled the entertainment sitter uh, VCR and TV on top of my legs <laughs> and it broke both of them in three places so that's probably the worst injury I've ever had um, the worst medical experience I ever had was a seizure I, I had I've always had seizures my whole life and when I had that seizure, I was actually wide awake before I actually went into it. And um, it was traumatizing for me. And, like, it really, um, it still bothers me. I have PTSD from that seizure. And I just, it was bad. I, I, fe I felt myself, my hands curl up. And I felt my jaw dislocate. And I um, actually felt my the, the air leave my lungs. And I thought... I had died, and, like, uh, before I went into the seizure, all I could hear was ringing. So, that was probably the worst medical experience I ever had. The The worst actual physical injur injury, which there are physical injuries with seizures. You could bite your tongue, you could hurt your, your body muscles hurt after that, you know. But the worst, like, physical, like, bone-breaking inj injury was, um my legs. Um, what were you doing three hours ago? Sleeping. I <laughs> fell asleep. I was uh, watching TV and then I fell asleep taking a nap. <laughs> um, are you wearing pants right now? Oh my god, that's such a weird question. Uh, I don't wear jeans. I wear yoga pants and jogging pants because Jeans are butt prisons. If you uh, nag me to, if you nag me to wear jeans, you can go fuck yourself. Jeans, I don't like them. And the reason for that being is because, uh, one, I, I am a very thick woman, and I don't feel confident in jeans. I feel like I'm fat in jeans. And two, the most important main reason is because when I, uh, 
when I went into surgery with my daughter, I was pregnant and I went to have a C-section. Uh, I they cut when they cut, they cut right across my uh, waistline, like it was like right below my stomach, but right like right across. It was like up to it's like below my just below my stomach, uh, but just above my pelvic bone. And it's right where my uh, jean line would be. Uh, if I were, wore low jeans, it was it's right where my jean line would be. And when I wear jeans, they hurt my C-section scar really bad, and I don't like it. So I don't wear. Uh, I don't wear jeans, but I, I wear yoga pants and I wear leggings, or yoga shorts, or stuff like that. What are your plans for tonight? Nothing. I plan to clean the house spotless and sleep <laughs> because uh, I don't really have anything to do and I'm like really lonely so I don't really have anybody to talk to so I figured sleep. <laughs> uh, when do you usually go to sleep? Actually it's like 12 a.m. right now but I usually try to be in bed about 9.30 or 10.00. Because I feel like an old person. <laughs> Even though I'm 26 years old, I feel like an old person. Uh, when did you last go on vacation? That was a long time ago. Like, that was years ago. Um, that was way before I had my uh, daughter. And way before I was even married. And I had um, went to Florida. And it was actually the best vacation ever. I loved it. It was so fun. The beaches are beautiful. I went to go, uh, oh, sorry, I had to pop my finger. <laughs> um, I went to the beaches, uh, in Florida are beautiful. I got to go to, uh, a restaurant called Pineapple Willie's and everything that they serve has pineapple on the menu and, oh my god, it was amazing and I love it. <laughs> That's probably, like, my favorite restaurant I went to while I was there. Uh, when did you last go shopping? <sighs> uh, okay, what's that meme? What's that meme from Titanic? It, it's been 84 years. <laughs> uh, it has been a while because I don't never get out of the house. So, I don't never get to get out of the house. I never have any time to myself. I never have any time to do anything. I don't get to go anywhere. So, it's been a while. Uh... Have you ever watched any movies this week? This week, have you watched any movies this week? Uh, yes, I have. I have watched uh, Before I Wake. I have watched um, this movie called Hush, and it's actually a really good movie. It's about this uh, woman. She's actually really badass, but she's deaf and mute, and she um, lives alone in the in the woods. Like she has her own little house and cabin, and she's like secluded and stuff like that. And she's also a famous writer. And when she, uh, she has this crazy ex-boyfriend, and he tries to attack her, and she's, like, badass. She, she, like, she avoids him, and she, like, uh, he, he tries every trick he can to try to kill her, and she avoids everything, and, you know, shit like that. And it's a good movie. Uh, it's hard to explain. <laughs> so, I mean, you guys should watch that if you, if that's something you're into. And, um, I've also watched, like, I've watched Before I Wake, I've watched Hush, and, um, I tried to watch some scary movies, but I don't like reading subtitles, and the scary movies I picked out was, like, in, um, in French and in Spanish. So, I didn't watch those, because I have trouble reading subtitles. Um, I am actually currently trying to learn more German. I know how to say I love you in German. And that's about it. But I learned I love you in German for one of my friends. So. Do you miss anyone or anything right now? <laughs> Always. Always. Always, every day, every hour of the day, all night, I miss this one person, but I 
never will say anything. I always hide it. I miss them. And honestly, they were the love of my life. So, yeah, I miss them. We talk every now and then, but... Yeah. Anyway, uh... <laughs> Who's the last person you chat with on Facebook? Uh, I don't really use Facebook anymore. I haven't used Facebook in a while. Like, the only time I ever get on Facebook is if my daughter's at my mother's and I, you know, use, like, Messenger to a video chat with my baby. So, I don't never use Facebook. Uh, that was, uh, the last question, and that was actually 30 questions, so, um, that was, uh, fun to do, and I will make some more questions later. I might do another video in a little while, and it might be another question, a question, answer, Q&A, whatever, um, but the reason I wanted to do two videos, I was thinking about doing two videos tonight, is because I haven't posted in a while on YouTube. And I am trying to make it to where I can schedule, uh, like move around my schedule and make a video once a week. And I'm thinking uh, at least Fridays and Saturdays are usually good for me. And I'm trying to make sure I can do a video once a week. So... Yeah, <laughs> um, I'm going to try to start doing that, whether it be a vlog, uh, whether it be a Q&A, or anything like that. So I'm going to try to post a video once a week. So I'll see you guys later, and if you guys have any ideas for videos, um, drop, a, drop a suggestion in the comments, because I love when you guys give me suggestions, because I love doing things for you guys. It's it makes me happy to entertain you guys. So, if you have any question, if you have any questions, or if you have any suggestions for uh, YouTube videos you want to see, um, I will give you credit for the idea too. So, um, there's that. I'll give you credit for the idea, and um, you can go to my Twitter, or you can go, you can go to my Twitter and direct message me, or post on my wall. I don't care, or you can um, comment on this video. Uh, and tell me what you want to see. So, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I love you guys. And I will talk to you later. And this has been Kendra. But you can call me Kawaii Pixie or whatever. <laughs> See you guys.